everyone. Today we're talking about vocabulary strategies. And one great way to study vocabulary is using Quizlet. So Quizlet is a free site where you can create and study vocabulary lists. And I'm going to show you four ways that you can study vocabulary using Quizlet. And the strategies I'm talking about today are if you already have a flashcard set created in Quizlet. So maybe your teacher created one for you or you created your own flashcard set in Quizlet. The first way is with flashcards. We also have learn, test, and match. So let's start with flashcards. All right, first we see the word. On the other side of the card, we'll see the definition. So we can test and see if we remember these words. Another thing you can do is click on the audio up here so that you can hear the word. And this is great because it helps you remember the word when you see the word and hear the word. Patience. Yeah. And then we'll click on the card to see the definition. So in this case, a willingness to wait without complaining. When you want to go to the next card, click on the next arrow here. You can click on the audio if you want. Generosity. And when we click on the card, we see the definition. So you can continue to study these cards. And it really helps to learn or remember vocabulary. Another thing I want to show you is some options for flashcards. One option you have with Quizlet flashcards is to change which side of the card you see first. So right now, my setting is to answer with the definition. I'm going to see the word first, and then it'll answer with the definition. But you can change it. So if you want the opposite, you can change it to answer with term. But I like to answer with definition. The other thing is you can change the audio setting. If you click on, the cards will automatically play the audio so you can hear the pronunciation of the words. The last thing I'll point out is the star here on the top right. And click on the star if a word is really difficult. Generosity. For example, generosity, maybe it's a difficult word, it's hard for you to remember. If you click on the star, it will save that word um, to so that you can study it separately and study the most difficult words more often. Okay, so that's how to use flashcards. All right, let's go to the next mode, which is learn. Uh, what we'll see is the definition, and then you're going to choose the correct word. Bravery. So what is bravery? I think bravery means courage. I'll click on that. Great. Next, we have a willingness to wait without complaining. What is that? I think it's patience. All right, so that's the learn mode of Quizlet. Next, let's look at the test mode of Quizlet. When you click on test, you'll see different kinds of questions testing the vocabulary. So we have, in this case, four true-false questions. Look at the definition and then look at the term. Are these the same? Let's find out. A willingness to wait without complaining. Is that confidence? No, I think a willingness to wait without complaining is patience. So I'll click false. A feeling of devotion, duty, or attachment, not quitting or leaving. Is that loyalty? I think so. Yes, that sounds good. All right, so that's the true false. We also have multiple choice. We have bravery. Let's choose the matching term. Bravery sounds like courage. Self-reliance and freedom, that sounds like independence, right? So that's the definition. And then we also have matching. We're going to click on the terms below here that match the definition. Here's the definition, the quality of being honest and truthful. 
Is that creativity, sensitivity, kindness, or honesty? I think that's honesty. The ability to feel or perceive easily or intensely. I think that's sensitivity. Okay, so that's the matching questions. And then we also have written questions. We have the ability to change direction or adapt. Now I have to type the answer. I think that is flexibility. And I'll click next. The ability to continue without giving up. What is that? You're going to type the answer. All right, so um, when you're done, you can check your answers. I won't do that because I didn't finish all of them, but it'll tell you um, if your answers are correct or not. Finally, we have the mode called match. And this is kind of like a game. And what you do is you find the matching word and the definition. So for example, Let's say um, the ability to change direction or adapt. I think that's flexibility. So click on one of the cards and drag it to the matching word or definition and it'll disappear. So next we have creativity. What is that? I think that's the ability to think of new ideas. I'm gonna drag the word over to the definition or I could drag the definition over to the word and it'll disappear. So you'll continue to do that until all the words disappear. And there's our game of match. Okay, so we reviewed the four modes of Quizlet um, to help you study vocabulary. If you're using Quizlet in Canvas, it might look a little different from this. Um, but the features are still more or less the same. So I hope that helps and have fun using Quizlet to study vocabulary.